Welcome to High School Quiz Show Maine. We're working our way towards the quarterfinals in the championship with the $1,000 prize. In our seventh qualifying match, it's the Crusaders of John Baps Memorial High School. <laughs> Taking on the Hawks of Marshwood High School. That's coming up next on High School Quiz Show Maine. Production support for High School Quiz Show Maine is provided by... Energy is about more than just keeping the lights on. It's about living life as parents, friends, and teammates. Unitil is proud to support High School Quiz Show Maine. Unitil, more than a utility, part of your community. Safety Insurance is committed to environmental sustainability and supports many local charities. You can ask an independent agent about auto, home, and business coverage from Safety Insurance. Safety Insurance will help you manage life's storms. And by viewers like you. Thank you. Welcome to High School Quiz Show Maine. I'm Todd Guttner. We're down to our final two preliminary matches as we knock the 16 teams down to eight for the quarterfinals. One of today's teams could be the one to go all the way for the $1,000 prize for their school's project graduation. It was the season four championship that saw these two teams battle for the crown. That year, John Bapp's Memorial of Bangor was the victor, but Marshwood already had a championship win as our season one winner. Both teams hope that this is the year that they add the second championship to their record, but only one can move on. Who will it be? Let's meet the team so we can find out. For John Bapps Memorial, we have Jane, Braden, Samantha, and Georgie, with alternates Tessa and Martin, and coached by Jacob Mattis. And for Marshwood, we have Annabelle, Lauren, Leah, and Riley, with alternates William and Kaylee, and coached by Stanley Scontris. The competition has three rounds, the toss-up round, the category round, and that awesome lightning round. We'll start with the toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for wrong answers. Players must wait for me to complete the question, and if one team answers incorrectly, the other team will be given a chance to answer. All right, teams, are we ready to roll? Yeah. yeah. I like the enthusiasm. Let's keep it throughout the match. All right, here's the first question. Dr. John Watson is a friend and companion of what consulting detective in novels by Sir Arthur Con uh, Conan Doyle? That'll be Jane, John Bass. Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes is right. What politician was elected to his second term as president of France in April 2022? Uh, Braden, John Bass. Emmanuel Macron. That's correct, Macron. Four on top and four on the bottom. What is the name for the teeth you use to bite into and cut through food? Annabelle Marshwood. Canines. Uh, that's incorrect, John Bapps. Go ahead, Georgie. Molars. Also incorrect, it's incisors. Incisors. The name Mesopotamia means between two rivers. One of those rivers is the Tigris. What's the other river that defined the boundary of Mesopotamia? Riley Marshwood. Euphrates. Euphrates, yes. Up next, we have a picture question, so please take a look at the monitor right over here. The question is, in horse racing, the Triple Crown is awarded to the horse that wins the Preakness Stakes, the Belmont Stakes, and this race that takes place in the Bluegrass State. Uh, Jane, John Baps. Kentucky. Kentucky Derby. Kentucky Derby is right, yes. In the movie Big Hero 6, what inflatable robot character introduces himself as your personal healthcare companion? Uh, Braden, John Baps. Baymax. Baymax, yes. There are two colors on the national flags of Sweden and Ukraine. One is blue. What's the other one? Uh, Annabelle Marshwood. Yellow. Yellow, you got it. In the 1940s, what science fiction writer devised three laws of robotics? The first states that a robot may not injure a human being or uh, allow a human being to come to harm. Uh. Isaac Asimov. We move on. A contributing cause of acid rain is what gas with the chemical formula SO2? <phone rings> Leah Marshwood. Sulfuric acid. That is incorrect. John Bapst. Uh. 
Sulfur dioxide, SO2. Okay, up next, we have a video question. Again, take a look at the monitor. Hello, my name is Carrie Letary, and I'm the librarian at York Middle School. In which U.S. state do Mark Twain's famous characters, Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn, live? Nope, I think the uh, buzzer came first. The answer is Missouri. Was that what you were going to go with, Annabelle? No. Okay, good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> In ancient Rome, a sign with the words, Kawe Kanem, outside someone's home, was warning visitors to beware of what? Annabelle. The dog. The dog, yes. Nice job. Which of these is a Caribbean island? Corfu, Martinique, or Sardinia? Riley Marshwood. Martinique. Martinique. All right, we're back in this now. All right, here's a math question. You got pencils. Get them ready. If Alex has 12 cookies and Chris has 17, how many cookies must Kyle have to give the three of them an average of 15 cookies? Uh, oh, Jane, okay. John Baps. 14. Uh, 14's incorrect. Marshwood, you have a chance here. Go ahead, Annabelle. 18. 18 is also incorrect. The answer is 16. 16. Portillo, Chile is a ski resort in which South American mountain range? Braden, John Baps. The Andes. The Andes, yes. After its population reached 969 million in the late 1970s, what country enacted the one child policy, which remained in effect from 1980 until 2016? Braden, John Baps. China. China, yes. Which of these is an example of Gothic architecture? The Parthenon, Westminster Abbey, or the White House? Uh, Riley Marshwood. Westminster Abbey. That's correct. What classic and very quotable 1942 film stars Humphrey Bogart and Ingrid Bergman and is set in a particular city in Morocco? Brilliant job, Baps. Casablanca. Casablanca is, nice, uh, is correct. Nice job. Uh, Lesotho is an African country that is completely surrounded by what other African country? Uh, Riley Marshwood. South Africa. Yes, South Africa. What complex pigment protects against UV radiation and gives color to the hair, the skin, and the iris of the eye? Lauren Marshwood. Melanin. Melanin, yes. Another math question, the last one. If 200 is increased by 130%, 130%, what is the resulting number? <phone rings> Riley Marshwood, go for it. 260. Incorrect. John Baps, you got a chance here. <phone rings> go ahead, Samantha. 460. You got it. 460. Nice job. All right, next question. As punishment in the afterlife, what wicked king in Greek mythology was placed in a pool of water that receded whenever he tried to drink? Georgie John Babs. Tantalus. Yes, nice job. Uh, the Broadway musical, The Sound of Music, takes place in and around Salzburg in what European country whose national flower is the Edelweiss? Uh, that'd be Braden. Austria. Austria is correct. A movie in which two female characters talk to each other about something other than men would pass a certain test named for what American cartoonist? Lauren Marshwood. Bechdel test. You got it. The Zan in the name of Tanzania comes from the name of what island that is part of Tanzania? Braden John Bass. Zanzibar. Zanzibar, yes. The key lime used to make key lime pie takes its name from a group of small islands in which U.S. state? Jane John Bass. Florida. Florida is right. The calendar we use in the U.S. today was introduced in 1582 by a pope with what name? Georgie John Bass. Gregory or Gregorian calendar? Gregory is correct. The 1494 Treaty of Tordesillas split control of the New World between Spain and what other country? It's safe to assume no one asked the people of the New World for their input on this decision. Braden, John Baps. Uh, the United Kingdom. That's incorrect. Lauren Marshwood. Portugal. Portugal is right. Portugal is right. Stieg Larsson's novel, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, was originally published in what language? Braden, John Babs. Swedish. Swedish, yes. That's the end of round one now. We have a score of John Babs 140, Marshwood 90. It's pretty tight. So this is a pretty good game. Don't go anywhere. We'll meet the players when we get back.
Uh, before we head to the category round, we like to pause and get to know our players a little better with a slightly silly question, which is, if you were to be added to the Guinness Book of World Records, what would that record be? This is going to be interesting, I think. We'll start with John Bapst and Jane. Um, I would be the tallest person because I'm really standing on a podium <laughs> right now that makes me taller. Folks, she really is standing on <laughs> a little stool so that she's kind of level with everybody. We get it. That's a good one, Jane. Uh, Graydon, how about you? Uh, I would probably be the biggest consumer of Marabo chocolate. Of which chocolate? Uh, Marabo is a Swedish chocolate company, and when Got I was it. living there, I oh. think I definitely took the record of eating the most. <laughs> All right. Um, I'll have to try that sometimes. It's amazing, I take it? It is, yeah. Okay. Uh, Samantha, what would be your record? Um, I would say have eaten the most buffalo sauce, because I put it on everything. Uh, so you like spicy and hot, then, I assume? Yes. <laughs> like, can you really take the real hot stuff? Oh, yeah. Like, the, oh, yeah. the one that they say, hey, don't try this unless, you know, there's like, you have to sign your life away. I'll try it. <laughs> You'll give it a shot. <laughs> Georgie, how about yourself? I think it'd be worst bird trainer. Um, I'll be honest, I've never tried to train a bird, but I think I'd be the worst to attempt it. Huh. So. Do, do, you, do you like birds? No. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> All right. Um, we'll switch over to Marshwood now. Thanks for those answers. Annabelle. Um, I would say uh, most viewings of the film Die Hard in a single weekend. Oh, yes. Now, is Die Hard a Christmas movie or is it not? 100%. Absolutely, I'm right? A, I'm a staunch supporter of that. I, I am too. Well, I like, I like where you're going, Annabelle. All right, Lauren, your turn. Most money spent on concerts. Uh, okay, who's, who are you into these days? <laughs> or who oh, aren't you into <laughs> these days, maybe? Um, well, the last concert I went to was Noah Kahn. No, or no, it wasn't. Okay. I lost count. Marcus Mumford. Marcus Mumford. Oh, you went to Mumford? Yeah. Oh, I'm a big Mumford. Noah Kahn was before. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of bummed that there's, they sort of broke up a little bit, right? A little? Yeah. I mean, Marcus is, yeah, he just yeah, wanted to go do his own thing. thing. Yep. Yeah. Anyways, big fan of Marcus <laughs> Mumford. All right, Leah, your turn. Uh, mine would probably be the most time listening to Spotify. So you're into music also? Yeah, we go to concerts together. Oh, so. okay. Are, are, yeah. You have the same interests? In, yeah, pretty in, much. In music? Okay, awesome. Um, Riley, wrap it up for us. Um... I would be the worst person with no filter. The worst person. The, with, so you the just least blurt. filtered. The least filtered person. You just blurt. Yes. yes. So far, you haven't done any blurting. <laughs> if you could blurt anything right now, what would you blurt? <laughs> well, you know what? Let's not go there. This is a family show. We'll not. We'll we'll stop right there. To to. All right. We're gonna get to the category round. It's coming up next. Uh, but let's see how well you do with our viewer question of the week. Hi, I'm Alec O'Mara from Unitil, and this is your Maine Question of the Week. Maine has 24 border crossings with Canada, but until May of 2020, it had a 25th. What was unique about this crossing between Maine and New Brunswick? Stay tuned for the answer later in the show. We've got a great match, and next up is the category round and in the following choices. Send me a letter. See what I did there? A bushel and a peck. A musical feast. Journey without maps. And it's a dry heat. Questions have increasing point values, and wrong answers will cost you. The rules for this round are different than in previous seasons. Each team will alternate control of two categories. With each question, they can choose to answer and either gain or lose points. They can skip and neither gain nor lose points. Or once per category, they can toss and force the other team to answer. Players will have five seconds to confer and decide what to do. Marshwood, you are trailing, so you have control of the board first. What's your first category going to be? Um, we are going to do Journey Without Maps. Okay. Journey Without Maps. These are going to be questions about animal migration. Anim and that threw you for a loop, didn't it? <laughs> we'll, we'll see how you do. Here's the first question. Chinook and coho are species of what fish that migrate upstream from the ocean to fresh water in order to spawn? Salmon. Upstream salmon. 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 Salmon is correct. Uh, journey without maps for 15. The largest mammal on earth is what species of whale that migrates over 4,000 miles a year and sings during the entire journey? Yeah, blue whale. Blue whale. Blue whale. Blue whale is also right. Journey without maps for 20. Some license plates in the state of Maine have an image of what bird that nests around freshwater lakes and migrates to the Atlantic coast for the winter? Chickadee, I think. Chickadee. 
Chickadee is incorrect. It's the common loon, the loon. Journey without maps for 25. After they breed in the U.S. and Canada, millions of monarch butterflies migrate south to the protected monarch butterfly biosphere reserve in what country? Mexico. Mexico. Mexico is right. And here's the last one in Journey Without Maps. The great migration in the Serengeti involves gazelles and zebras, but mainly a herd of about two million of what antelope relatives traveling 500 miles across the plains? Gazelles and zebras. Zebra. I'll need a decision. Answer, skip, or toss? Uh, toss. You want to toss. Okay, so this is going to go over to John Baps. You're going to have to answer. I'll read it one more time. The great migration in the Serengeti involves gazelles and zebras, but mainly a herd of about two million of what antelope relatives traveling 500 miles across the plains? I'll need an answer. Something. Impala? <laughs> um, incorrect. The answer is wildebeest. Wildebeest. All right, so that's the end of that category. We go over to John Baps now for your choice. Where do you want to start? Uh, we're going to go with it's a dry heat. It's a dry heat. These are questions about U.S. deserts. Here's the first one. Death Valley National Park is located in what relatively small and exceptionally dry U.S. desert that covers parts of California, Nevada, Arizona, and Utah? The Mojave. Mojave is correct. The most populous city in the Mojave Desert is also the most populous city in Nevada. What lively city is that? Las Vegas. Las Vegas is right. Uh, this is, it's a dry heat for 20. It's not unusual to see snow in the Great Basin Desert. It lies to the east of what California mountain range whose name in Spanish for the snow-covered mountains? The Sierra Nevadas. Sierra Nevadas, yes. It's a dry heat for 25. Tucson, Arizona has a museum devoted to what hot southwestern desert that is the natural home of the giant Sawaharu cactus? Uh, we're going to skip. You want to skip it? Okay, it's the Sonoran Desert. The Sonoran. And this is the last one in It's a Dry Heat. The rock formation called Cathedral in the Desert is usually submerged beneath the waters of what big reservoir in the desert between Utah and Arizona? Lake Mead. Ah, that's incorrect. It's Lake Powell. Lake Powell. All right, that wraps up that category. We cruise on back over to Marshwood. You guys have your second choice now. A musical feast. Okay, a musical feast for 10. These are questions about songs about food. All right, here we go. <laughs> the most downloaded song of 2021 was what BTS hit that's smooth like a certain high-fat dairy product? Butter. Butter is right. <laughs> a musical feast for 15. What 2019 song with a fruit in its title won a Grammy Award for Harry Styles? Yeah, water watermelon sugar. sugar. <laughs> watermelon sugar. That is correct also. A musical feast for 20. In a song from 2005, Jack Johnson sings about making what kind of pancakes for breakfast on a rainy morning? Banana pancakes. Banana pancakes is also right. A musical feast for 25. Way back in the 1970s, Jimmy Buffett sang about eating what all-American food item in paradise with lettuce, tomato, Heinz 57, and French fried potatoes? Burger. I don't know. Burger. Is that your answer, burger? Uh, that's incorrect. It's cheeseburger in paradise. Cheeseburger in paradise. You do have one more chance in this category. Here's the 30-point question in a musical feast. Hank Williams had a hit in 1952 with a song about what classic Louisiana Cajun and Creole dish of sausage, chicken, shrimp, cooked with rice in a fragrant, spicy mix. Jambalaya or gumbo? Jambalaya or I don't know. Skip it. Uh... Skip. All right, so you're going to skip, okay? So the answer is jambalaya, jambalaya. All right, we have one more category for John Babst. What are you guys going to select? Uh, we're going to choose see what I did there. See what I did there. These are questions about national historic sites. Ha uh, now a national historic park, Appomattox Courthouse was the site of Robert E. Lee's historic surrender on April 9th of what year? What is it? 
What do you want to do? Answer, skip, or toss? Uh, we're going to skip. Skip. The answer is 1865. All right. <laughs> Did one of you have that? <laughs> it looked like it. No? Okay, that's good. Uh, Central High School, in which Arkansas city, is a national historic site that honors the nine black students who attended classes there for the first time in 1957? Little Rock. Little Rock is correct. See what I did there for 20. A National Historic Site in Alabama celebrates the legacy of World War II combat pilots or airmen who trained at what university there? Auburn University. That's incorrect. The answer is Tuskegee, Tuskegee Airmen. Uh, see what I did there for 25. A National Historic Site in Maryland was the home of what woman who founded the American Red Cross? We're going to toss. You want to toss. Okay, this is going to go over to Marshwood. I'll need an answer after I read it again. A National Historic Site in Maryland was the home of what woman who founded the American Red Cross? <laughs> there wasn't Margaret Singer. But, yeah, <laughs> Margaret Singer. Hey, right. I mean, it's not ans it's Clara Barton is the answer. Clara Barton. Yeah, you had to guess at something, right? All right, back to John Baps for the last one in this category. In New Bedford, Massachusetts, a National Historic Park focuses on the city's connection to what industry that drew Herman Melville to settle there in 1841? I'll need an answer. Answer or skip? Skip. You want to skip? It's whaling. Whaling is the answer. Um, that wraps up our category round. We have a score of, oh, this is so close. John Baps 120 and Marshwood 115. Everything will change in the lightning round. So sit tight, we'll be right back. How did you do with this week's question? It was, Maine has 24 border crossings with Canada but until May of 2020, it had a 25th. What was unique about this crossing between Maine and New Brunswick? It was a one-way crossing. As there was no United States border station there, travelers could enter into Canada, but anyone wanting to enter the US had to drive several miles to a different port of entry. We've got a tight one here, and now we're heading into the final 90 seconds of gameplay, the lightning round. Players, you do not have to wait for me to finish the question. You can buzz in any time, but do not answer until I call on you. You get 20 points for each correct answer. Incorrect answers will cost you 20, and the other team does not get the chance to answer. The clock is set. Good luck to both of you. This is a great match. Here we go. Here's the first question. In a 2018 movie, the character Miles Morales becomes what superhero? Uh, Annabelle, Mark. Spider-Man. Spider-Man, yes. Who was the Soviet leader during the Cuban Missile Crisis? Uh, Riley, Marshwood. Um, Mikhail Gorbachev. Incorrect. Khrushchev. Khrushchev. Boise is the capital of which U.S. Braden, John Idaho. Babs. Idaho. Idaho, yes. What's the most common time signature for a waltz? Leah, Marshwood. 3 4. 3 4. Which body organ makes the and secretes bile? Lauren again. The stomach. Incorrect. Liver. What animal is the symbol of the Republican Party in the U.S.? Annabelle Marshwood. The elephant. Elephant, yep. T.S. Eliot wrote, what month is the cruelest month? Brayden. April. April, yes. A group of what animals is called a pride? Annabelle. Hawk. Incorrect. Lions. What island group takes its name from a Carib word for crocodile? Uh, Georgie, John Baffs. Cayman. Cayman, yes, good job. What is the official unit of currency in France, Germany, and Italy? Lauren Marshwood. The Euro. Euro, yes. On which planet are almost all the physical features named for women? Leah Marshwood. Venus. Venus, you got it. What car maker introduced moving assembly line production in 19... Lauren Marshwood. Ford, Henry Ford. Ford is correct. U.S. Naval Academy is located in what... Mer Georgie got it in. What is... Go for the answer. Annapolis. Annapolis is correct. Let's see. We have... John Baps, 200. They are the winners here. And they will be moving on to the quarterfinals in a few weeks. Runner up, Marshwood, with 175. Super, super close. Congrats to both of you and thanks for playing. 
Be sure to tune in next time as North Yarmouth Academy takes on Wyndham. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on High School Quiz Show Maine. Production support for High School Quiz Show Maine is provided by... Energy is about more than just keeping the lights on. It's about living life as parents, friends, and teammates. Unitil is proud to support High School Quiz Show Maine. Unitil, more than a utility, part of your community. Safety Insurance is committed to environmental sustainability and supports many local charities. You can ask an independent agent about auto, home, and business coverage from Safety Insurance. Safety Insurance will help you manage life's storms. And by viewers like you. Thank you.